Hello there, Excel lovers. My name is David and I'm from Excel Consulting and I'm here with another new video that I'm going to show you about ideas in Excel. This is a really, really cool feature that allows you to ask questions to Excel about your data and have it answer them for you. And what's really impressive is that there are things that are really hard to do in the regular Excel. For example, a median by category or a distinct count. There is no distinct count function in Excel and both this and median are not really possible even in pivot tables. So I'm really excited about this feature. We're gonna go through what it can do. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I have plenty more like this, including two more on the ideas feature in Excel. So here we have some data. There's not very much just gender, ethnicity, city, dates, number of sessions, age, and children that that person has. So if I go to the Home tab, I select the data, and I go to Ideas. And then you get this sidebar that pops up where it analyzes your data. And I've got other videos talking about this stuff. In this one, I'm just going to talk about this thing that says Ask a Question About Your Data. Immediately, you click in there, and you get these suggested things so you can just sort of click on that one uh, <laughs> city that starts with an M. Okay, that's a little bit random, but uh, you can get a few other things. You can get, for example, single answers like, uh, say, count of males. There were five males. And if you click insert, it will create this thing. Strangely enough, it's not a pivot table. It's a regular table. So you can't drill down and do the pivot table stuff or edit it. But yeah, that's what it's creating. Let's go back and let's see what else we have. So let's also look at, for example, sum of sessions by gender. There we go. And it will show it to you like this. And you could say, for example, sorted by average age like that and then it just gives you this table with both again this is a regular table however if i go back to the first one if i take off the sorted by it will then give me this and it says insert pivot chart so this is actually a pivot table and a pivot chart it gives you different ones depending on what you ask for you could even say if you want that in a pie chart or you know, line chart, donut charts, all of these can work as well. These are all pivot charts. Uh, you can say, for example, for uh, Brisbane as well. So you can add a filter by doing that. Let's do that in a pie chart. There we go. We don't have anyone with gender other in this one, so it's just showing us like that. Uh, you can have top or bottom end, so you can have top two cities by children. There you go. If it says insert, generally it is showing you a table. It's If it says insert pivot chart, it would show you a pivot table and a pivot chart. Uh, here's the question, here's the answer. You have your recent questions and also some suggested ones that it keeps showing you. And what we can keep doing is we can say, for example, other questions that are not even possible in the regular Excel. So a median if, there is no function for median if and it's not really possible in a pivot table, but you can say here, median, age by city if you spell age right <laughs> there we go median of age by city that's what the answer is showing us how great is that you can't change these they're not calculations but it's actually calculated it for us i love that uh you can also have distinct counts so distinct count of say ethnicity by city there we go Wow, distinct number of ethnicity by city. There is no function in Excel for distinct counts. At least median, there's a function. Excel, there's there's nothing for distinct counts or count unique. 
Google Sheets has one. Excel does not. To do this with a pivot table is very difficult. You have to go to the Power Pivot data model. So the things that it allows you to do are really, really, really fantastic. Um, I really love this feature, and I love that they keep bringing new things to the ideas part of Excel. If you like this video, then I have two more videos so far that look at different aspects of the ideas feature in Excel. Please check them out. I've got links to them here. Plus, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want more awesome content like this on Excel, PowerPoint, Power BI, Microsoft Office, how-to videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.